Welcome to the Doorstep Film Rentals YouTube channel. Today we are talking about our FX3 handheld rig. Let's dive in. Let's start up at the front of our camera. So right now we have the two stage matte box tilt to filter. We love this because every single one of our lenses has a tilt to step up ring on it. So say we're swapping out across camera systems, everything is modular. It makes filming a breeze. What we love about this matte box is we have a double filter here where we can put filters on both sides, which is great for maximizing you know, each tray. And then we also have the singles, um, which is great for uh, when we're putting in our Pro Mist or Black Pro Mist. This is great as well. The only downside with having the two stage filter on is the fact when we have a 24 millimeter lens, there's a little bit of vignetting that happens. So what we do in that case is just take off that second stage and now we're good to go. Right now we have the Sigma 85 Canon mount, which is really interesting because we have multiple camera systems here at Doorstep. And the reason we went with Canon mount is because we actually have the red Komodos, which have a Canon converter on them. What we found is if we actually have the Sigma adapter, what it will transfer is autofocus. And what we've seen between a native E-mount lens and with the Sigma adapter is no loss in autofocus performance. All of our lenses can work across all of our camera systems. Next, we have a small rig wooden handle that has a small rig RE locking pin for our monitor mount. And it's perfect because it sits on a NATO rail. So if we are ever wanting to you know, switch over to the Ronin, um, this just slides right off and we're good to go. We've seen some other people do different builds and we all, we've done them before too, where the monitor sits in front of the handle. And what happened is one of our monitors actually got cracked and it was just the screen protector, so it wasn't a big deal. It flung up and actually hit this. And so what we love having this attached is that it's all one unit. So nothing ever is gonna get hit. This monitor is protected and we're good to go. Next, I wanna talk about the cage. So this is the small rig half cage, and honestly, we love it. It's not bulky, it's not big, it's really slimmed down. It allows for these ports on the side to really be maximized. The next thing we'll talk about is just our monitor in general. I know we've touched on in other videos. This is the small HD 702 touch, and there's a dummy battery going uh, under our camera here to a sprig. We love Sprig for building great uh, camera rigs. I'm gonna talk about the back of the camera. One thing that we really found is like, where do we put time code? So we actually have a Velcro, piece of Velcro that attaches onto our back V-mount plate, which is by Nitsi. I think I'm saying that right. And what we found is that this space right here isn't really used by anything. So it's a great real estate to be able to take this up um, because our monitor then can be flipped out on the other side here. The Nitsi V-mount plate is perfect because it has multiple D-taps all around. The next thing I wanna talk about is the V-mount itself. We have really, really loved these Cam TV small V-mounts. They're minimal in size, they're, we can fly with them. They're 98, 99 watt hours, which is perfect for you know filming for a day. We have four of them total and we only find when we're running this camera, uh, we find that we could really only need two batteries to get through a full 10 hour day of filming, which is perfect. I just took apart the camera because I really wanted to focus on the base. So one of the things that's really great about this camera build is this plate right here. The reason for that is this plate is designed to also fit on the, the Ronin RS2. So if I was to take everything off the camera like I just did, this plate perfectly slides onto our Ronin, so it's a quick and easy conversion over to a more slender gimbal build. This is our Sony FX3 build. Let us know in the comments what you think of it, what you like, what you don't like. If we missed any pieces, please subscribe to our channel and like this video. Thanks for watching.